hey girl hey welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail i'm back again with another hair review today i am working with wiggins hair they sent me this bomb hd lace unit so i'm gonna go ahead and start the video off by doing a little unboxing first i do want to show y'all the goodies that came with the wig it came with a cap an edge brush and it came with a lace band that says wig and tear on it you also can flip this over on the opposite side if you want the pink or if you want the black y'all and let's go ahead and get into the lashes they sent me some bomb 3d lashes it says wiggins hair on there and these are really really cute i usually don't like the lashes that come with the wigs but i actually will wear these ones so let's go ahead and get into this unit y'all this is 200 density this is in the texture um loose wave and this is actually my first loose wave wig and it came out really really bomb this is a transparent lace they also offer this wig in 250 density or with hd lace but i did get it with transparent lace and this is in the inch 24 y'all so the lace just look really really nice um honestly there was no complaints about this wig i did go ahead and bleach the knots although it was not necessary i just wanted this unit to really melt into my skin so i went in and did that but as y'all can see i didn't manipulate the unit this is how it came right out the pack and the lace is really really nice the hairline is already pre-plugged this is the natural texture of the hair it was really really soft and bouncy and for 24 inches y'all this was true to length like this honestly felt like i had like a almost 30 inch hair the hair was very very long i'm 5'5 five five and it went to like the middle of my butt so yeah as y'all can see it's really really long i do want to go ahead and get into the structure of this unit y'all so this is a 13 by 4 but it definitely was giving 13 by 6 um there was so much parting space the lace was really really thin and you could hardly see the knots so it was also very secure it came with three clips around the um, perimeters of the wig and one in the back and of course it came with the elastic band um again this is how the unit looks on my skin complexion i'm like um i was consider myself dark skin y'all medium to dark skin and it blended so well like i said i didn't need to bleach the knots i just wanted to make sure the wig melted so i went in and bleached the knots on camera and yeah this is the unit um i did go ahead and bleach the knots using 40 developer and then i used the bw um powder bleaching what do you call this the bleaching powder y'all i mix it in the tip with this is just to make sure it's really really thick you want to make sure there's no consistency like you basically want to make sure your solution is very very thick when once you lean the bowl over or like pick it up nothing should move y'all you want to make sure it's really thick this is the key for not bleaching um over bleaching your lace or getting bleach on the hair so y'all can see i did not use a lot of bleach at all the only thing i really cared about bleaching was the perimeters of the lace because that's honestly the only thing you'll be able to see and i went ahead and bleached down the middle just in case i decided i wanted a middle part later i wanted that to just look like skin and give scalp i am gonna list all the information on this hair down below again this is wiggins hair this is my second time i believe working with this company and y'all when i say their hair is always bomb it's always true to length it's always full also and then this is too full for you because i know some girls do not like the big hair wave so they do offer this wig in 180 density and if this is too thin for you they also offer this in 250 density but 200 density was just perfect for me it wasn't too thick it wasn't too full and you know what i really liked about this hair company y'all usually when you get longer lengths hair the front of the hair like the uh the lace part or the closure part that will be like 16 inches and then the back will be like 24 inches but with this hair it was one length all the way through so i really really love that about them um again everything about this unit will be listed down below y'all can go ahead and enjoy the video and watch me install this unit
Okay, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and get into the installation. I just wanted to show y'all a full view of this beautiful wig. Before I ever glue my wigs down, I go ahead and decide how I want to style it. I was thinking I wanted a middle part, y'all, but I end up doing like a, I guess, not even a side part. This is kind of just pulled back, and that's typically the look I go for when I have curly hair. Um, but I don't know, I might switch it up and do a middle part. But for the sake of this video, I decided to do a free part.
y'all it's a wrap this is how it looked right before i did the last step which was wet the hair with this curly activating spray that i got from like the dollar store you can pretty much get it from anywhere y'all but it's called curl activation and it's like in this gold bottle um as y'all can see it has the curls popping the curls are very defined in the previous clip they were kind of frizzy and not giving body or color but yeah this is pretty much the finished look i absolutely love this wig um, the baby hairs were so easy to cut. The lace was so easy to melt. And again, y'all, I did not pluck this wig at all. That is how the hairline naturally came. I really, really love everything about this unit. Don't forget to check them out. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.